Welcome back everybody to another episode of Try This Surprise Package. Of course, that's kind of all we do. Now. That's all we ever do. <laughs> hey, it's fun. It is. I like it. So we got uh, 10 more items to try out for you guys today and it's only two of us today. It's, it's like the second episode we ever did. Just me and Derek. Or the first surprise package we ever did was just me and you. Was it? Yeah. Well, Veronica was there for the first one. She was there, but she she didn't participate in it. That's right. She was off on the side eating Subway. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. She was making, making rude comments to us as we were doing it. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on a uh, almost solo event here. Derek can kickstart us, like always. Alright, we have... So we have ketchup balls. Tomato ketchup flavored balls. You look saying balls. Balls. Balls, <laughs> balls, balls. We got balls. Look oh, like they smell like they smell just like ketchup. They look like uh, Cheetos puffs. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, like they're a, good, but they're weird. Like it tastes like a cheese puff dipped in ketchup. Yeah. I mean, it literally like dissolves in your mouth like yeah, cotton candy, but tastes like tomato. I mean, yeah, but they're not bad though. Yeah, I mean, now if you dip those in ketchup, I wonder how they <laughs> taste like cheese. Ketchup balls. Balls. It's so weird with two people doing it. Surprise me. We have strawberry Turkish taffy. Turkish? Yeah, I've never had Turkish taffy before or anything from Turkish stuff. Anywhere from Turkish, I mean Turkey, Turkey, <laughs> Turkey. So this is a uh, strawberry Turkish taffy. Sounds good, but I mean, you can never, you can never trust those Turkish people. God. We might get a little bit of a wrapper with our <laughs> taffy. Okay, I'm just gonna pull off a little. Pull off a little. God. It's taffy. All right, strawberry Turkish taffy. It looks strawberry. It's a lot easier to chew. Yeah, it is. Like when you think of taffy, you think of like hard to chew and all that. It tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, I mean, like there's literally like a giant stick of gum that you can swallow. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of tastes like chewed up bubble gum already. That's weird. Yeah. It's good though. I like regular taffy more. Yeah. Weird. That's, that's just weird. Like, you think you should just keep chewing it. It's kind of grainy. Sticky. Yeah, it was okay. I like original like American made taffy better than I do that stuff. It's Willy Wonka makes better taffy. <laughs> the land of Willy Wonka. Let's do this. Oh, goody, another water drink. <laughs> Twist. Essence water, lemon zest. What are people gonna realize that mixing, giving water a flavor does not work? It does sometimes. You ever had Propel? Propel is really good. It's kind of like a Gatorade. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, this is Twist Essence water. It smells like. It smells like lemonade. Okay. All right. Not bad. It's really, really weak. It's more water than anything. Yeah. It's like a hint. Oh, it's like lemon. when you go to the store, like when you go to a restaurant, it's like, would you like a little bit of, you know, would you like lemon with your water? It's like they just go ahead and... Yeah, that's what it tastes like. They just took a lemon and dropped it in your water. Yeah. Not bad, though. I mean, I could drink that whole bottle. Yeah, I could, too. Yes. It's actually pretty decent. So if you like lemon in your water, that's a good drink. Twist. Twist. Go ahead. Uh, we have Herb's hot sauce flavored potato chips made with Texas Pete original hot sauce. I'm going to test them first because I don't know if they're actually hot. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I could probably eat them just because most times when people on chips say they're hot, they're hot or not. They're actually pretty big chips. Like, they look, kind of look like ruffles. 
I want to eat mine first, so just so, just see if it's not hot. It's hot. Ooh. Yeah. Oh god. They're good. They're actually hotter than what I thought they would be. I had a whole chip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I took a bite. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Herb's hot sauce flavored potato chips. They taste just like dipping a potato chip in hot sauce or squirting it on. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I can't eat hot sauce or anything, but I mean, I like them. I recommend this. If you like hot sauce and you like the, you're the type of person that puts hot sauce into a lot of different stuff, like some people put it in spaghetti, yeah. things like that. So if you like, if you're that type of person, you would definitely like these chips. I like those, but I, don't, I can't eat hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to keep these for later. These are good. Gummy popcorn. Sour gummy popcorn. Oh, artificial flavored sour. And they were a dollar at Big Lots, and guess what? Mm. They expired in 2011. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I bought these because I wasn't sure if they uh, they taste like popcorn. I thought it was going to be like sour flavored popcorn, but then they got fruit flavors on the side. So I'm guessing that it's actually just the shape of popcorn, just tastes like fruit. Yeah. That's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> the shape of popcorn, but it tastes like fruit. But it's gummy. But we got the expired version, so it may not be there. Remember very the last good. time we had expired version? It took just like an hour to chew it. Yeah, that was the the pizza. That was those hamburgers and stuff from High School Musical. Yeah, that's what it was. The High School Musical. Cause I got a water bottle. It tastes like a water bottle. <laughs> yeah. And they smell like a regular sour gummy candy. They look like. Uh... They don't look like popcorn. They look like abs. Like somebody's abs, like, yeah, I'm buff. <laughs> Put on your Lego guys. Yeah. Your Lego guys abs. So, sour gummy popcorn. I mean, not sour. No. It tastes like sour. It tastes like the sour Skittles. Yeah, a little bit. That's what it tastes like. They're okay for actual gummies, but they're not sour. I hate when stuff says they're sour when they're not. They always do that. They're really hard to chew, though. Well, it's probably because they're they're know, a year out of they're, date. They said they're a year old. <laughs> yeah. Not bad though. Sour gummy popcorn. I'm sure if you got it in date, it'd be better. Yeah. Ooh, that looks, oh my goodness! That we looks have wonderful watermelon <laughs> Jolly Rancher watermelon drink. And I've I've heard uh, different people try these before. And they said that it tastes just like melting down a Jolly Rancher and drinking it. So I really love Jolly Ranchers. It's one of my favorite candies. So I'm looking forward to this one a lot. Hey, it's carbonated. That makes it even better. <laughs> Bubbly. It smells just like it. Oh. I'm so looking forward to this. All right. This is Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Tastes just like it. It's so good. This definitely drink the whole bottle drink. It'd probably even be even better if it was cold. Sorry. <laughs> I keep stuff in my room for like six <laughs> months at a time. I've gotten used to it. I've mean, gotten used to drinking warm drinks. So just think, if it's this good warm, imagine how good it is cold. Or been sitting in his room for six weeks. Yeah. All right, this is actually really good. I highly recommend these. If you like any type of fruit candy, of watermelon flavor, anything like this, you definitely pick out this. Is drink. this the only really flavor good. you could you sold? No, I actually got all five flavors. Nice. Hey, no drink. Drink. Cheer wine. Cheer wine. Yeah, this was kind of weird. Um, this was just sitting by itself in like a freezer in a little small convenience store. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll check it out. Is it supposed to be like a cherry cola? That's what I thought. So it's called Cheer Wine. Got a little picture of a cherry on it. That's about it. <laughs> so it's Cheer Wine with a little picture of a cherry. In it. it smells like a cherry Coke or a cherry Dr. Pepper. It's funny, we were just talking about that earlier. It was more like cherry Coke. 
It's a mixture. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Cherry or uh, cheer wine. wine. Tastes like cherry cup. Tastes like it's got like root beer in it or something. Tastes like cherry coke mixed with root beer. That's what I got. Wasn't really tasting that. Probably got. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I get thinking of like cherry coke. And if you think, I mean, it said it honestly tastes like cherry Dr Pepper mixed with cherry coke. To me. Yeah. The flat versions. Oh yeah, I mean, they don't have like that super carbonation of either one, but but it was good. I oh yeah, I, I like this. It was uh, it was kind of cheap too. I mean, it was like a dollar fifty for a glass bottle. That is pretty cheap. Yeah. So that is uh, drink cheer wine. They've been bottling since 1917. That's all that bottle is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have uh, the first product from Peru ever on the show. Yeah. This is grilled marinated artichoke quarters. Oh, artichokes. That's pretty nasty, the fact that I thought that was onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got tons of, like, nasty black stuff at the bottom all built up. Or and what's soaking in? Probably some kind of vinegar, I'd bet. Probably vinegar. Knowing our look. Weird. It doesn't smell bad, but okay. Oh, <laughs> doesn't smell good. Who knows? As in something I want to eat, you know. Okay, this is grilled artichoke quarters. Marinate grilled marinated artichoke quarters. Seems like it's in some kind of oil. Yeah, feels very oily. I don't know what that is, but. I guess we'll find out when we eat it. Yeah. Here we go. It's not horrid. No, it's not. I don't like the, the liquid substance that it's in, though. It's a little chewy. Yeah, whatever that liquid substance is, I don't like. Yeah, it's like I, like we said. It, it tastes has, like green bean juice. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. It's kind of vinegary oil. I don't know. But not bad, but... Yeah, it was just different. I thought this was going to be pretty bad. That's why I got this. Yeah. But um, surprisingly, that's one of the first things that's actually surprised us on the show for not being like, horrible. Exactly. I mean, whenever you look at like the kind of stuff that we've eaten, like we've kind of gotten a sense of what stuff tastes like. And when you look at that, you kind of dread it. But just like most of the stuff we eat, we dread it more than we should. <laughs> so it soaks in uh, olive oil, vinegar, garlic, and spices. No, so we were right. Oil and vinegar. Two items left. It's been a quick uh, surprise package. Well, there's only two of us. Joy, I'm glad you chose the drink for. Cascal, fermented soda, crisp white. Yeah. Uh, anything fermented is usually really gross because it's like aged over time. In a, in a, in a, like in a, a good wine. Like <laughs> similar, but it's it's something that it's been soaking in oh, and yeah. fermenting in that yeah. substance. So it's pretty much been rotting away. Uh, so. I'm not looking forward to it at all, but this is crisp white cast cow fermented soda. What was this? Let's say peach, pear, apricot, magnolia flavors. Magnolia? Isn't magnolia a flower? Yeah. There, we're gonna get drunk off flower juice. <laughs> cast cow fermented soda, crisp white. The magic of fermentation. That's what the back of it says. Magic of fermentation. Smells like uh, smells like apples, apple juice. Hey, it does. Why don't you try it first? Well, okay, cup. Don't wind it up. No, it's not. I mean, it's not horrid, but it just leaves a really weird taste in your mouth. Like, it tastes like pear pear juice or something. Pear fermented, juice and apple fermented juice. Fermented pear juice. Pear juice and apple juice is what it tastes like mixed together. Yeah. Yeah. I would I couldn't drink the whole thing of that. No oh, no. I mean, that one drink was good enough for me. Yeah. But I mean like I said, it's fermentation, so you kinda have to, you know, taste like it. Yeah. Just 
I have another one of these too. All right, we got one item left. This has been a pretty quick surprise package, but I mean, we haven't had too much of nasty stuff to try on this one, and it's only two of us, so we'll go for the last one. And we have Something Taco looks... Bell Bold and Creamy Chipotle Sauce. Taco Bell? Yep, Ta Taco Bell's uh, original home brand. I wonder if this is the same stuff they put on their quesadillas. Probably. I love that stuff. But let's try it out. Looks like, I was going to say, it looks like it's a <laughs> pindo into already. I'm just going to do i uh, I'm just going to pour it on my finger and well, try it. Anticipation's killing me, I know. It looks like nacho cheese. With a little bit more sauces in it. I know we're going ghetto style here. Woo! Off our fingers, but... Um, I forgot to bring spoons down, so. Alright, here we go. Chipotle. Oh, it smells like ranch. Bold and creamy chipotle sauce. It smells like ranch and tastes like ranch. It's kind of hot. It's got a hot hotness to it, but it's not too bad. No. It's, it's got like a warm feeling to it. Like when you stick it in your mouth, like it don't have. That's what she said. It don't have so much of a bite as like I thought it would. Yeah, it's you can definitely taste the creaminess of it, like it's real smooth and creamy. Yeah. That's what I like about it. This would go perfect on tacos. Oh yeah. I would just like the picture on the front. Yeah. I would love to have this on tacos. That was Taco Bell bold and creamy chipotle sauce. And that's it for this episode of the surprise package. Very quick episode, but like I said, not too much nasty stuff, so stay tuned and we'll try some more nasty stuff later on. See ya. Thank you.